Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup with Mike Gundy. I'm Allison Gappa in OSU Football's Equipment Room, and we're giving you an inside look at the making of the throwback homecoming helmet worn on Saturday against Kansas. The uniform combination is easily one of the most anticipated game day sites, so here's your all-access look at the process. Yeah, what's happening is the helmet we wore against Kansas State, we're breaking it down and getting it ready for the homecoming game against Kansas. And by doing that, we'll take the face mask off, we'll pull off all the old decals, the shell will be cleaned, the parts of the helmet will be cleaned, and then it'll be all time to move on to the buffing and polishing phase of the helmet. Our white helmets are not painted. They're, they're just a molded shell, so we buff and polish it to make them look shiny. I mean, that's what I tell these kids. That's the one thing that you can show your work off is when those helmets are sparkling when they come out because they're not painted. They're buffed and polished with good you know, hard work and elbow grease. And let's start with the buffing process. Basically what that does is it, it dulls the helmet out. So when you come back to polish, it'll put a nice shine on it. You can see Allison where it's, it's kind of dulled out a little bit. See how it's dull right there? Mm -hmm. Then what he'll do is he'll spray it down to get all the grime from the polish wheel off the shell. Like the stuff that's on the wheel. Oh. You know, we, we have a compound we put on the wheel. What is, help. what's the compound? Well, the, the buff compound, it makes it where it's like gritty, so it really dulls it out. And then the polish is just like anything else, just something, a shining agent. Now, after he's cleaned the shell, he'll put it on the polish wheel. You know, if I can look at it and comb my hair in it, that means it's like a mirror. It's, it's a good job. How about you? Allison, I think yeah, you can do it. That's pretty good. I think, so, I think we could comb our hair so in that we'll one. give him a B plus. Okay. He's a freshman, though. He'll learn. Right. Next step. Decals. We went with the uh, decal from the 1969 to 72, what the Cowboys uh, wore. The, the only difference with this, in 1972, they actually wore a gray mask on this. But for the uniformity, like we've talked about, for the whole look, the black mask just tied it all together. Is it pressure packed? Making sure it's in well, the right he, spot? He, here's the thing. How does he know where to put he, it? He knows that if it's not in the right spot, and we've all kind of looked at it over the last day or two and kind of came with the conclusion of where it'll look best on the helmet. Pitt will stay on for the remainder of the year, all of our helmets. He was very important to us. He meant a lot to uh, not only me, but this, to this program. And then come back and check all the hardware, the snaps, the face mask secure, the straps. Check the chin strap to make sure there's no rips or tears in that from the week uh, last time we worn it. And then cleaning the inside parts. And then just kind of one last inspection, we're making sure everything's there, this, the number's right, names coordinates with the uh, the player and then coordinates to his cubicle. Final step, going to the player. Step. No, final step is when the clock hits zero, we run off victorious. To track OSU football's uniform combination each week, follow us on social media and okstate.com. Stay with us on the Cowboy Football Roundup with Mike Gundy. We'll be right back.